Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about the ad hoc approvals in change management. What is ad hoc approval? In ITSM change management, we generally create the approval mapping to determine which approval should get attached to the change request. And based on that approval mapping, those approvals will be generated either for the individual or set of group. If what if like there is a requirement like I feel like a new approval should be added to any particular user or set of group, then what should we do? We add in that case the ad hoc approvals. From where we can add this ad hoc approval? Show you my approval configuration. For that, I will go to the admin console. I'll first go to the foundation and approval process configuration to show you the different phases I have. So out of the box we have six phases. Out of that I will select the review phase for which I have the approval mappings created. So I'll go back to the change management, approval, approval mappings, make a new search. You will see here I have two approval mappings. One for the individual user and other is for a particular support group. Now in support group, I have set of people who has a functional role, infrastructure change approver. Only those people will get the approval. So let me go back to foundation. In foundation, we have organization structure, support groups. Now I have selected back office as a support group. So I'll just search for that group. And if I sort it by approval, so there are three users who has functional role as infrastructure change approver. So I ex expect this user should get the approval. Also, I'll show you another support group which I'm going to add as an ad hoc approver. Here also I have three users defined as an infrastructure change approver so that they will get the approval. Now I'm going to create a new change request and I'm going to show you how the approval mappings are going to attach to the change request. So test change for one. Okay, my change is submitted like this one. If I see all approver, I do see one individual and one is for support group okay and I'll do the next stage now in pending I could see there is one individual and approval generated now let's suppose I want to add additional approver let's say individual let me add as app admin and if I save this this will add another approval signature for app admin so without his approval even though the approval mappings uh, users approve it uh, and app admin doesn't approve it the chain will not will not move forward similarly i can add group approval you can see the group approval has been added so it should be approved by all the four signatures one is the individual that is this for first one then the second one also the two groups as well should approve it then I'll show you by disabling the approval mappings how it would work now I disabled both the approval mappings now let me create a new change request Let me open this change request. Now I currently don't have any approval mappings defined here. So it will show none. Now if I move to the next stage, it is going to move further from request for authorization to request for change till planning in progress. So there is no approval attached. Now let me move it back to initiate phase again in the draft status. Now let's suppose I want here approval even though there is no approval mapping defined let me add individual 
same user app admin now as the status is in draft you will not see the pending approval because the change is in non approval phase if i look for all approvals you will see this app admin generated here but to appear in the pending stage the change should be in approval phase so i will move to this to the next stage in order to see the pending approvals so unless and until app admin approves this request the change will not move forward thank you